Hi everyone, I have a compilation of all my metal ribbon DIYs plus two new ones. This first DIY, you're going to need some Dollar Tree Super Glue wood glue. And I'm just going to glue together these two wee mini palettes. And then I stained it with the Early American Wood Stain by Minwax. And I have this glass jar and I already took the label off it and I painted it with some Mountain Blue Apple Barrel paint. And then I'm just going to hot glue some ribbon along the top so that I have a surface that I can stick the metal ribbon to. Because I tried to use some super glue and hot glue to try and attach it to this part of the jar but it didn't work. So I painted it with the mountain blue paint and then now I'm just going to hot glue the metal ribbon on. And this was a piece of metal ribbon that I'd cut in. I'd cut in. <laughs> I cut the bottom band off of to use in a DIY that you're going to see later on in the video. So I wanted to use that up. But just be careful because once you cut it, it is sharp. I just hot glued every piece. I tried not to put too much on because I didn't want it to seep out. But I put loads on the back where I joined the two ends because you're not going to see that anyway. I'm just going to make a hanger for my palette with some twine, hot glue and a piece of popsicle stick. You could put some beads on it if you wanted to make the hanger bigger. And I'm just going to hot glue my jar where I want it to sit. And try and make sure you don't get hot glue through the holes like I did. And now I'm just going to measure the metal ribbon. And I'm just going to put it around the middle. Although I, started, <laughs> I should have started with the one edge like this. And then I just trimmed it with some scissors and it trims easily with scissors. And then I have these wee nails from Amazon, I'll link them down below. And I just use a pair of tweezers to make a wee hole and then to hold the nails because they're really fiddly, <laughs> as you can see. So I just hold the nail in place with the tweezers and then I hammer it in. You could use a glue if you like, but at least you know with the nails, they're fiddly, but they're not going to come out. So I just put a couple on each side. And this is how it turned out, and I think it turned out really pretty. I just did one coat of mountain paint, um, because I want it to look old. And then I'll link the greenery down below, um, it's from Amazon as well. This DIY, I already glued together seven rows of three blocks, and then I'm just showing you me doing the last row, so you need eight of these. And then I have three of the bigger size houses. I gave them one coat of Mountain Blue Apple Barrel paint. Except I didn't paint the inside because I like the stripes on it. But you can paint that if you want to. And then I just took a sanding block that I got from Dollar Tree and then just lightly distressed the houses and the other pieces. 
I have some of the metal ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to measure and cut how much I'm going to need and for to do the three of them one roll was enough and I had a tiny wee bit left over and you don't have to put the metal ribbon on all of the shelves if you don't want to but I wanted to put them on all of them <laughs> and it cuts really easy with some scissors And to glue it down, I'm going to use some Scotch Maximum Strength Adhesive And you can use uh, whatever one that you have So, they actually fit, the pattern fit perfectly from one end to the other with the, um, the middle one on the point like it fit perfect, it's so tough with that but I'm using clamps and a hammer and I got this wee hammer on Amazon so I'll link that down below as well and I'm just using the hammer to flatten it and bend it around the corners and then I'm putting the glue in the middle of the ribbon and then uh, wiping away any excess and then using the clamps from Dollar Tree to clamp it down and then at the the back ends, I just hammered the ends down because they are sharp. So you have to do this in stages. So I did all this and then left it to dry. And then I had to come in and do the other side and had to do that for all the trays. So this one does take time. Although <laughs> after I made it, I thought, oh, maybe you could get like wee nails for this. So I ordered some wee nails from Amazon. So next time I use the ribbon, the metal ribbon, I will use them and see if it works. So next part I'm using some super glue wood glue and I'm going to glue all the tumbling tower blocks in place. And I'm gluing one in each corner. I did this for two of the trays and then I left them to set. There's different things you could use for this part. You could use, you know, the square dowel rods or you could use pieces of wood from Dollar Tree and you could use pin sticks. You could always like stick to the side instead of on the inside like this. So I didn't really let mine sit for that long. <laughs> so I thought I would turn on the side and I thought if I put a paint stick, a paint stick, a paintbrush underneath it just to hold those legs up, I could put it in place. I almost put the wrong one on. But it didn't really work. So I just turned it up and put it on like that. <laughs> and just eyeballed how well, not how. <laughs> I balled it to try and make sure it was as straight as I could get it. And then, I didn't show it, but I put uh, some Mod Podge on top, a uh, bottle of Mod Podge, just because it was heavy, to till everything set. And this is how it turned out. And I think it turned out so beautiful. I love the blue and the silver ribbon. I was going to make this black and I'm so glad that I made it blue instead. And you can have this as wee shelves or you could make it into a planner. Have a wooden palette sign from Dollar Tree and some metal ribbon. I haven't used this metal ribbon yet. I've used the other ones but not this design. So I'm just going to cut out a strip for each of the slats on the palette. And I'm making sure that the edges, I'm cutting them at the same place 
and there's like not half a hole at the end, all the holes are going to be in the middle of the strip of metal ribbon. <laughs> and it cuts easily with scissors. And I'm going to use some Dollar Tree super glue wood glue. And I'm just going to press down the metal ribbon in the place where it's going to go and I'm just putting one of the wee beads on either side and I'm doing it like this because I'm going to paint it and I want the beads to be stuck down but you could always stick them after if you wanted to but I hadn't decided what colour I was going to do this yet at this point <laughs> I just knew that I wanted to put it like this And I decided to paint it with the Mountain Blue Apple Barrel paint. And then now I am just going to stick down the metal ribbon. So I have a pair of tweezers that are from when I used to buy rhinestones that were in the pack. <laughs> I have loads of these tweezers. So I'm just making a hole where I want to hammer in my little nails. I got these tiny wee nails from Amazon. I'll link them down below. And I'm just using the tweezers to hold it after I've made the wee hole and then just hammering them in. But they did stick out at the other side, so just be wary of that, but you're sticking it on the wall anyway, just don't touch the other side. <laughs> but you could always cover it up with um, a craft, some craft, bits of craft stick or something or some hot glue so it's not jaggy. And then when I get to the other side, I just hammer well, I hammer both ends down and then I did the rest off camera and now I have one of these Our Family Gather Here sign from one of the arch windows and I'm just going around the edges with the mountain blue paint and then I just hot glue that to the sign Then I decided I didn't want that hanger, it would look better without it. So I just cut it off one side and then I pull it tight and then glue the other side down with some hot glue and a popsicle stick. And this is how it turned out and I really love how the metal ribbon looks with that blue paint uh, and it was a lot quicker and easier hammering <laughs> the wee nails in than gluing it and this next DIY I have one of these little wooden trays from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue a bead in each corner of the bottom with the Dollar Tree super glue wood glue and I didn't wait for <laughs> them to dry so you'll see them falling off later so definitely wait till they dry before you move on to the next step which is staining it with the Waverly Antique Wax and then here I'm just lining up with the lines on the tartan and I am measuring it so that it will fit inside the tray and then I just cut it out with some fabric scissors And then I'm just measuring what size I would need to cover the two long sides. And I do the same for the other side. You see my wee bead falling off there because I didn't wait till I tried. <laughs> and I'm going to use some Mod Podge to stick the fabric to the tree. And I apply the Mod Podge with a brush and I just put a thin layer 
because when you press the fabric down it can seep through it so I don't want to put too much on and you can also once it dries go over the top of the fabric if you want but I didn't bother because I wanted it to still look like fabric and not have a coat on it and I have gloss more podge so it would have made it shiny and then I made the side pieces well I made the second one because I didn't think about the first one <laughs> I made it a little bit longer so I could fold it underneath and then I just trimmed down the edges with some scissors and when you do a thin layer it does start drying quite fast so I don't leave the Mod Podge for too long And then when I cut the inside, I left it too long because I didn't measure how big it was supposed to be and I wanted it to fit perfect so I left. I made it a little bit longer than it was supposed to be. So I just put one side in and then I use uh, the scraper tool from Dollar Tree to make sure it's all flat and into the corners. And then once I got it in position, I can just trim off the extra and then it will sit flush with the top of the tray. I'm just cleaning up some of the extra Mod Podge with a wet paper towel. My sorry is out of the camera a wee bit. <laughs> so I just cut it along, right along the top edge. And then I have some metal ribbon I found in Dollar Tree. I can't find this one, but I'm definitely going to look out for the other ones. And I was maybe going to put it all the way around, but I decided just to put it on the front. So I just measure it, and it's easy to cut with um, some scissors. So I just trim it to the size that I want. And of course, like every other Dollar Tree <laughs> product, it's not straight along the bottom. So you kind of have to try and get it. If you want to put it in a straight line, that is, try and glue it so it glues on straight. And I'm just using hot glue. And just be careful because the metal gets hot. And I just did a little bit at a time. And I just pulled off any hot glue that seeped out. Uh, I didn't really know what else to stick it on with, so I just used hot glue. <laughs> and also, it's quicker for me to film anyway. And this is how it turned out, and I think it turned out really great. I wish I could find a Dollar Tree Plus so I can get the big wooden trays. <laughs> so you could always do this on a bigger tray if you find one. And this next DIY, I have a canvas from Dollar Tree and two of the little mini palettes. And I'm just going to glue the palettes together with the Dollar Tree Super Glue Wood Glue. <laughs> and then I'm going to use it to glue the little palettes to the bottom of the canvas. And I did it right flush at the bottom and then I'm going to stain the palettes and these 14 little wooden beads <laughs> with the Waverly Antique Wax and you could stain the palettes first if you wanted to but I wanted to make sure the glue really stuck to the canvas and then I have some more of the fabric 
and I just cut that out a little bit bigger than the canvas and then I stick it down with some Mod Podge and then I get all the creases out and try and make sure it's flat but don't pull the fabric too much because you will ruin the pattern of the tartan because all the lines are meant to be straight not squiggly but um mine's are a wee bit squiggly <laughs> but i'm doing it in a rush so if you take your time then it'll be fine and then i just put some mod podge on the back and i fold it over oh i cut the corners off at the top and then i put the mod podge and then i folded it over And I cut off the little frayed, bit, frayed bits. Sorry, it is off camera, so a little bit. I must have moved it. <laughs> um, yeah, so next I have the metal ribbon and I cut two lengths of it and I cut it just a little bit longer than the canvas. Oh, yeah, this one, there was a whole lot of it in the middle of the ribbon that wasn't formed properly so yeah beware of that <laughs> that was annoying because i could have done another diy with that but anyway i'm just doing the same as the other diy and just hot glue in a little bit at a time and i already did the roll across the top of the palettes and again, be careful if you're using the hot glue or the metal. I do have those finger protectors, but I forget about them all the time. So if you have them, use them. And for the end, I have the pliers. Oh, I am off camera. <laughs> and I just use the pliers to fold over. And then I'm taking my beads and I'm just stringing them on some twine and I'm going to make this into a wee hanger. You could use bigger beads if you wanted or you could just make a little hook on the back with the twine. So once I've strung them on I just take some hot glue and a popsicle stick and then I just hot glue it all to the back and then I trim off the extra twine and this is how it turned out obviously you don't put anything heavy on it <laughs> but you could put a couple of little things on it and you could always write home and things like that um, with your Cricut and put it on the back if you wanted to or a picture or something for this last DIY I have this relax sign from Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting off the twine hanger and then I paint the front and the back with some Waverly ink chalk paint and then I take some of the tartan fabric and I find roughly where the middle is and I just cut a piece out a little bit bigger than what I'm going to need and I'm going to mod podge that in place well I'm going to put down some masking tape so that the Mod Podge doesn't go any further than what I want it to. And then I just press the fabric down. But then I decided it wasn't quite in the right place, so I just put on some more Mod Podge and repositioned the fabric. Then I just cut off the excess and then I made snips all along the fabric so that I could fold it over and stick it down with the mud bulge. And then I have some more of, well this was the last piece of the metal ribbon 
forgot what it was called. And this wasn't my original idea for this, so I had to change it up because the ribbon was messed up. I didn't have enough to do what I wanted to do. So I'm just gluing it down with the hot glue again at the top where the tartan stops. And I just used the pliers to um, fold the ends over, but I'll just finish that off camera. And then I stained 14 beads and I think it was 17 off the half pearls with the Waverly Antique Wax. And then I'm just going to glue them on with some hot glue. And I just put them in the corners like this and then up the top and then I put one um, half bead down, I can't remember what it's called there. <laughs> and then I glued the next one and then I just did it like that so it would have uneven space all the way around. And then I glued the rest on off camera. And I found a Celtic font on Cricut Design Space so I printed off Welcome on that. And I thought that it would go nice with the tartan and stuff. And this also, if you wanted to, you could use this to decorate for St Paddy's Day. <laughs> I know it just passed. Um, I don't decorate for that, but if you wanted to, you could use it for that, or you could use it for every day. <laughs> I cut a popsicle stick in half, and then I took some twine. I didn't show it, but I used the lighter to burn off all the hairs, and then I tied it at one end. And then I just threaded my beads onto it and then I'm just going to hot glue it to the back of the sign with the popsicle sticks. And then just trim, up, tri trim? <laughs> trim off the extra twine and then you have a hanger. And then I decided to put some florals and some greenery on it. So I just hot glue them down. Now I get why DIYers are always making these <laughs> signs. They're so easy to make, you don't really have to put any thought into them. The hardest part was arranging the folds for me anyway. <laughs> Deciding how they were going to go. But I think that it turned out pretty in the end. And maybe I will make some more things like this. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think and what you would like to see more of on this channel. And I will see what I can do. <laughs> and here's it finished. And I actually like how it turned out. For first DIY you need two of the 72 block tower block packs and I'm using some Dollar Tree super glue wood glue and then I'm going to glue together six blocks in a line and I'm going to make two of these and then I'm going to glue uh, three sets of two tower blocks together and this is to make a ladder and I'm only going to show you me making one of them but I do make two and then I'm using the square ruler so that this will all be level and then I just glue the three pieces on and then I make sure that I wipe all the glue off and then I'm just gluing on some of these wee half beads on the other side of the ladder. And there's my other ladder I made. And I also made three of these and they are four blocks by six blocks. Yeah, four by six. And then I'm just gluing them on to make a wee ladder shell because everybody liked the 
little mini ladders I found in Dollar Tree and I couldn't find any more so I thought I would just make them myself. And this is <laughs> this is what it looks like when it's all glued together and I had to get some of these clips and you don't have to, you could always sit something heavy on top but if you have them then use them and I stain it with the Waverly Antique Wax And this is how it turned out. It's just a wee shelf you can put wee trinkets on. And I think it turned out really cute. But you guys can let me know what you think down below in the comments. For this next DIY, you need two more of the 72 block packs of Trevor blocks. And then I made two more, I need to pay more attention because the camera ran out again, <laughs> the battery ran out when I was filming. So I put the first um, ladder step at the top of the first um, tower block and then I did it at the top of, well, yeah, the top of the third <laughs> one and then I went up three again and glued it there and then I glued on those wee half beads on the other side and I made two ladders and now I'm going to make the little boxes. So I'm just going to show you one and it is seven blocks by two so you need 14 blocks for the bottom and then you need four blocks for each side and I just glued them on like this. And then I press them down and sort of put them in position and then just make sure you wipe off any of the glue that comes out and then I just put the other ones on top and I made three of these I always make sure you wipe the excess glue. So here's my two ladders and I'm gluing them on with the shortest part of the ladder at the bottom and then I left that to dry so that I could glue on the next piece and I just glued this ladder and then I turned it over and glued it this way. So that's why you need to make sure your glue sets first. And you could put something heavy on it if you want, but mine's dried fine. And I just made sure I wiped off all the excess glue. And then I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax. You could stain it before you put it all together, but I like to build the stuff before I do. And I found more of the metal ribbon, so I bought all the ones, the different patterns that they had and I bought a few of each and I'm just measuring where I need to cut it and I'm going to fold it over at the edges so, so I made sure it was going to be long enough to fold around the tower blocks and I made three of them <laughs> So I just measured and cut three of them and it's easy, it's easy just to cut with the scissors and I was going to make another DIY that you can see I've got a plaster well you guys call it band-aid <laughs> on my finger because I cut it when I was cooking so I ended up just doing finishing off this DIY and I'm and I paint the ribbon with some Spanish moss chalk paint. I think it's by Folk Art. I think so. <laughs> and I just dab it on with a sponge um, brush. 
um, I gave it two coats of this and I really like this colour but I didn't think that the silver goes with the Waverly Antique Wax. I don't know, you might like it but I didn't really like how it looked so I decided to paint it. And then, so I tried to hot glue it on but obviously it can't be too much hot glue because it has so many little cut out pieces and you don't really want to see the glue. So I tried to do that, it didn't work. I tried some gem tag but it was like too sloppy everywhere. So I used the Dollar Tree Fix All and I just put a little dab in the middle of each of the little flower things and then I used these clips to hold it down and it wasn't perfect but it was better than when I tried it with a hot glue. So if you haven't got these clips, I don't know, maybe just clothes pins. <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to fit that little one on. <laughs> but this is how it turned out and I just filled it with some succulents and Spanish moss and I think it turned out really pretty and I'm glad that I put that green colour on the ribbon. Amazon. So I have this little hexagon welcome sign and I'm just using my Cricut tool to take the metal welcome off because I want to keep it flat because I'm going to use that part and I'll use the wooden part um, in the future. I'm just scraping off all the extra paper off the back. Then I painted it with some mineral Waverly chalk paint and I have this live, love, laugh sign and I just unscrew in the love off the front of it and then I gave a wee sand and then I pulled the paper off and it came off so easy this time. <laughs> and then I painted it with the ink Waverly chalk paint over the entire thing. And I'm going to use one of these self-adhesive tiles from Dollar Tree to cover the front and I want the middle of the tile to be in the middle of the circle so I had to see where that would be and then I'm just going to stick it down and then use my Cricut tool to make a fold in the bottom and then I use my X-Acto knife to cut it and then I just trimmed off the excess with some scissors. I've had this tile for ages and didn't know what I was going to do with it. And I found it the other day, so I had to use it. But I haven't found the nice new tiles that I've seen other people using. So hopefully I'll find them soon. And I have some metal ribbon. Don't mind Ethan. <laughs> and... Um, just measuring how much I want to use and I only want the little band part that's on it so I'm going to cut off the leaf parts with some scissors and I will keep that and use it for later but be careful because it's really sharp once you've cut it. I just wanted this part and just checking that it fits. And I was going to hammer it on, but I decided just to hot glue it. <laughs> you should probably use a stronger glue than the hot glue, but I'm just rushing for the video. <laughs> it stayed on so far, so... But I don't know how long it'll last. Of course, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. I just thought I needed something else. Or if you have something that would work better, you could use that. And I'm going to use some super glue to glue on the next part. And that is the wee welcome sign. Also, this would look nice without the welcome part on it. 
and I used the mineral paint because I didn't want it to be too bright on it if I used like the plaster or something. And this is how it turned out. When you look at it without the light shining on it, you can see the welcome clearly, but it's not showing up as well on camera. I'm using some wood glue for this next DIY. And I have one of these little square planks from Dollar Tree and I'm just gluing uh, four wee beads to the corners and then I stained it with the early American wood stain and have this unicorn sign I had for ages and then I painted it with the mountain blue apple barrel paint and I'm going to use some metal ribbon and I'm just going to measure how much I would need. I need four pieces. So I'm just checking. I want the pattern to be even on both sides. So I just trim it down with some scissors. And it cuts really easy, easily. And then I do the other two sides. And just leave it a wee bit longer on the side so that you can fold it over. And I got these wee nails on Amazon, I'll link them down below. And they're really small and fiddly but at least your uh, metal ribbon stays on. And I just use some wee tweezers to hold it and then hammer them in. And you can use glue if you want to but for if I'm going to stick these to wood the metal ribbon to wood, then I'm going to use the wee nails. So I just hammer it a few times, a few nails all the way along, and then it should sit nice and flat. I need a smaller hammer. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll look for the, uh, a smaller hammer, it'll be easier for next time. And then when you get to the end, mine's just a bit long, so I trimmed it down and then I just hammered it around the edge. So I did the other side off camera, and then I'm going to do another piece but I shouldn't have hammered in the ends yet because I have to take the nails out so that the melt ribbon on top will sit a bit flatter I see here I didn't work with the tweezers so I pulled it out, it came out easy and then I just put it back in on top And I put an extra one in. Oh, and another one there. <laughs> and then I just hammered the metal ribbon around it. And I'll finish off the other side and then I'll do the bottom piece off camera.
and this is what it looks like and I'm just going to use some wood glue to glue the wooden piece on in the middle and then I printed off a fluor daily obviously not pronouncing it properly <laughs> and uh, on my Cricut and I'm just going to stick that down and make a stencil and use the mountain blue paint again to paint it on and I use a makeup sponge just to dab the paint on and I picked this because I made it for my boyfriend and he's a St. Louis and this is their symbol so I made that for him and blue is his favourite colour <laughs> and I just used the Dollar Tree um, what's it called? vinyl for this on the washi tape setting and I'll link the transfer tape down below because this one works works good with it and since the nails stick out the back I'm using some cork and I'm just going to trim it down and then stick it and I just measured where I wanted to cut it and then I just cut it with an exacto knife I just peel off the back and then stick it down and then you won't feel the nails <laughs> and this is how it turned out and I think it turned out so pretty I'm not sure if this one is my favourite or the next DIY I'm using some Dollar Tree Super Glue wood glue for this DIY and then I have six tower blocks but I ended up taking two off and only using four later on in the video and I have a wee wood round from Amazon, I'll link down below, it came in like a pack of 30 and then the puck light is from Amazon as well, I'll also link that so I glued together the tower blocks in two sets of three and then I glued on these wee wooden beads I just wanted to make sure that the light was going to fit and then I just glue these two tower blocks to opposite sides and then I stained it with the early American wood stain and I'm using this ribbon, metal ribbon this time and I'm using the whole roll and I'm just going to measure it and then cut cut it and see how many pieces I can get out of it and this is when I realised <laughs> I needed to take two tower blocks off so just unless you have another uh, roll of the ribbon then you can only use two tower blocks so this is me, I already took the tower blocks off I was trying to figure out which where I wanted to start it <laughs> which part of the roll I wanted to start with so I tried super glue and I thought that that might work <laughs> and it didn't and I was gonna, I tried doing the wee nails but I just couldn't get them to hammer in on this piece so I could maybe hammer them in at the end but I didn't bother so don't try either of those <laughs> and I used the clamps to hold it in place till it dried but it still didn't stick so I ended up using hot glue and hot glue actually worked I just wiped off any excess glue and I thought, I really honestly thought it was going to work because I used hot glue before, not hot glue, super glue before with the metal ribbon and it worked but this time it didn't so I thought I would add more super glue 
and then that didn't work <laughs> so I ended up just using the hot glue and the two ends that joined together I put a lot of hot glue there um, and then the side the other side with the wood I just put a wee bit so that it wouldn't show through the metal ribbon and then I put the metal ribbon on so that the next row the pattern would be or well, the main little I don't know what it is oval flower part <laughs> would be in between the the pattern at the bottom and then the next one I put it the same um, level with the first row if that makes sense <laughs> you'll be able to see once I've made it what I'm talking about because I really don't know how to explain it and then I just hot glued all the other pieces on so if you wanted to make this bigger then just use two ribbons and then you could probably put a candle in here but I wanted to use the wee light so yeah just clamp it in place and then once it's dry you can take the clamp off and then move on to the next part So this DIY <laughs> wasn't quite working out how I had in my head but it turned out alright in the end but I was rushing so if you take your time maybe you can get the metal pieces to line up better. And if you can't find the metal ribbon at Dollar Tree, I know Hobby Lobby and Amazon sell it it's a bit more expensive, but maybe you get more in the row, I don't know. I haven't um, actually been in to find out, <laughs> but I have seen it on the internet. Oh, and sometimes in the row, as you'll see when I show you the clip of the daylight, <laughs> that some of the rolls are rusty in the middle and I kind of like how it looks and um, it'll probably rust more in the future so I think that that will be nice but you'll see in the next clip anyway so just be aware of that if you're just wanting it to be completely silver so this is what it looks like with the lights on and you could see the rust on it And sorry, the camera is picking up so much light. It doesn't look like that in person. And you can see the design of the metal ribbon and it looks really pretty. together. And I have one of these signs from Dollar Tree. I'm just taking the hanger off the back and then I'm gonna push the back out. I'm gonna take the wee fox off. And then it has the, oh, I sand off the little bits of paper that was still on it. And it has these little metal pieces in it. So I'm just pushing them all up with a pair of scissors. And then I pull them out with a, what's it called? These pliers. <laughs> and then I paint the frame with some Waverly plaster chalk paint and I gave it two coats and now I'm just distressing the edges a little bit with a sanding block from Dollar Tree and I'm just attaching the metal ribbon to the sides of this and I'm just doing the same thing with the tweezers and the wee nails but I have some of these clips and I'm just clipping it in place so that it doesn't move around but just be careful when you are hammering the wood like this because it might break. <laughs> I did break the first side so I didn't show you that. So I'm showing you the second side where I did it better. And then when you get to the edge, 
you just hammer it around until you go to the next one but I'm only going to show you one side and then do the rest off camera and you can't hardly even notice these wee nails once it's all finished So once I got to the end I just snipped off the excess and hammered it down and you can't even notice the join. So for the middle part I had this mandala tile sticker from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to trace around where I want to cut it out because I want to make sure the middle of the mandala is in the middle of the tray that I'm making. So I just Trace it around with a sharpie and then I cut it out with some scissors. Once that's cut out, you just have to peel off the backing paper and then stick it in place. And then I just trimmed off the excess with some scissors. And now I'm just going to hot glue the two pieces back together. And then I hot glue the wee gaps that are were in the back. And then I just hot glued the half beads on the bottom to make some wee feet and I'll link all the beads and stuff and the nails and all that down below and this is how it turned out you can choose different colour paint if you want to but I think it turned out really pretty and this last year why I have a hurricane glass from Dollar Tree and I'm going to clean it with some alcohol. This one is from Walmart but you can get that Dollar Tree as well. I'm just doing it with a paper towel. And then I'm going to paint it with some plaster with all the chalk paint. I'm just going to do the same thing as I did with the other glass. I'm just dabbing it on with the sponge brush. And I, I do like how this looks, it gives it some texture. And I did, I gave it two coats of this as well. So that's the finish, and I have some of the metal ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm just measuring it. I'm measuring it. I'm cutting it a little bit longer than it is to go round. So well, I'll show you why in a second. I'm just putting some of the Dollar Tree Fix All in the middle part. But not too much because I want it to stick but I don't want to see the glue through the ribbon. And then I'm just sticking it to the very top and I pull it tight and it's so much easier using this and then I hot glue in the, the last one, I didn't put fix all on it, so that I can hot glue it and stick it down and it held really well and this ribbon worked much better on something round, obviously. <laughs> but there's so many things I'm going to put it on but it's just not going to work. And then I just did the same for the bottom. You can just add one at the top if you want, or you can add one at the bottom as well, one in the middle. It's up to you. And I just made sure that I started it in the same place I started the other one. And 
I just put some greenery from Dollar Tree inside it and I think it turned out really pretty. But let me know what you think in the comments, which one of these DIYs was your favourite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!